All right, EA just released a patch on Madden 22. We're going to jump into some of the details. Mainly just going to focus on gameplay here. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I want to do this kind of emergency video on the patch. I think I need to cover this on my YouTube channel. Also, like I said, if you're not a member of the channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be going live later today with the patch and breaking down some of the new concepts and things like that. We'll have tips coming really all night and tomorrow. We'll do kind of a, a couple of things, just kind of getting you guys versed up on the patch. For those of you that bought my eBooks. Defensive ebooks, offensive ebooks, all those will be updated this week as well for you. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. If you want to get any of my ebooks, they're all linked in the description below. Just go to payhip.com slash Cody Ballard and let's jump into the video. So gameplay updates. Here we go. New abilities. I'm going to come back to those in just a minute. This is what we've all been waiting for. Pass coverage. And let's talk a little bit about uh, about this. So pass coverage. Uh, hook zones. Fixed an issue causing the mid-read defender in Tampa 2 to drift the wrong direction versus trips, leaving the tight end wide open off the snap. This fix makes sure the mid-read is opening with that vertical by the number three defender and carrying it better vertically down the field. Okay, cool. Um, most of us don't use mid-read zones, but to be honest with you, I think this is actually a really good fix. And to be honest with you, another thing I wanted to say is I think Tampa 2 is already the meta. I think it's going to continue to become the meta after this patch because I think that we're finding that uh, the way that Madden 22 is designed to work, you need to be sending pressure. Um, you need to be sending pressure consistently, and you need to be trying to pick and choose your spots and coverage. So uh, I think this is going to be good because what we did did not see in this patch, and I want to be really, really importantly hit on this. There's nothing in this about deep blue zones. There is nothing in this about deep blue zones being fixed. All that we're talking about here today are hooks, curl flats, and flat zones. So, in my opinion, that makes a lot of sense to play a cover two style defense and send a lot of pressure. So if you want to learn how to do that, my two, four, five odd defensive eBooks in the description, it's got the best pressures in the game. I put a video out yesterday on the channel that actually shows the best way to set it up. If, uh, if you've not looked at that video, I'll put a link to that in the description of this video as well. Next curl flat zones, improved curl flat zone logic. So they would prioritize outbreaking routes instead of shading under verticals. Also improved some logic. Logic so that curl flats and quarter flats won't chuck outbreaking routes that were causing them to give up any leverage they had to cover the sideline. Um, I think this is good. Uh, I'm hoping that in PA boot over, if you guys don't know, PA boot over, this is one of the reasons bunch tight end is so good. The drag route in PA boot over, um, just the stock little short crosser, uh, it's, I, I call it a drag route. That route is basically impossible to stop with a traditional Mabel coverage. And the reason why is because the purple zones, they get sucked inside so much. Um, for whatever reason, they really get sucked in on vertical routes and things like that. So this, to me, is a huge thing. Because if we can play a five-yard curl flat and it'll actually guard that drag route, uh, that's going to be huge. Also, um, this is another reason why if you were defending gun bunch and you try to use a five-yard curl flat zone to defend a tight end flat route, nine times out of ten, out of ten that tight end flat route is going to be wide open, especially out of the concept double post because that flat route is a wheel route. So it's 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 running flat and then it's breaking up and outside the field. So that's another reason as to why this is really important. So I'm hoping that this is a good thing uh, for the coverage scheme because if we can get those curl flats to actually take away the flats and then we can use the uh, 30 yard flats to be able to take away some of those deep crossers, now we're basically you know back into a place where we can actually have a shot at defending some of the most popular concepts in the game, which are crossers and corners and high-low concepts off of those things. So I'm actually very optimistic that that's going to be a good thing. As far as the quarter flats uh, chucking outbreaking routes, I think this is actually a really good thing in terms of the match coverage. Um, this was really honestly one of the bigger things I think areas where match coverage tended to struggle is basically without routes. Like if a 10 yard out route, just a straight up 10 yard out route, no matter where on the field is going to pretty much kill match coverage, whether unless you're running cover four palms. And so this, I think gives us a shot at being able to play some more quarters and quarter and uh, cover four palms, which is what I personally prefer to play the most. And that's why in two, four, five odd, we not only break down how to play pinch two, we also break down how to play cover six and some of the other coverages as well. Okay, so that is, uh, I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hopeful on that, really hopeful on that. Now this one, I am really, 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 really excited about this. So 
Uh, I think that cover six is already the best coverage in the game, just from a basic coverage perspective. I think cover six gives you the best chance to stop any kind of trip set, uh, especially bunch, any of that stuff. Um, there are some bombs out of cover six, but what, but there's some ways we can get around that within the coverage and the coding. And so I'll be testing those as well after this patch. But this is really interesting. So uh, it says right here, flat zones fixed an issue. So cover two sink soft squat defenders could better shade receivers in the flat. I think that is absolutely huge because if you think about the meta, um, pinch, pinch two is definitely the meta defense, I, I would say, especially for pass heavy players. So what you're going to start seeing, um, this is what I'm hopeful for the big issue with the soft squats for whatever reason they would always shade to the inside like on drag routes like a drag route from right to left even a flat route the soft squats wouldn't really play them so you would have to play basically hard flat zone to be able to even have a chance at stopping a, a, a tight end flat route with this right here and the whole purpose of a soft squad in my opinion is to be able to be that in between zone be able to play a little bit of the flat and a little bit of the corner you know if they don't have a flat on the field to basically convert into almost like a cloud flat. So I think this is a really, really good deal um, because really what ha what's what been happening is the soft squads basically don't guard anything. Um, they guard some stuff. They match they match the vertical stuff, and that's why I think most pros use them because they do a good job of matching zones. I will tell you the biggest frustration I have with cover two sync is if someone runs verticals, so let's say someone's in bunch and they run verticals with a wheel route, the for whatever reason it's a soft squad it's supposed to match a vertical route it doesn't match a wheel route i don't know why so i'm hoping that this could i mean at least somewhat fix it i think i'm pretty optimistic i'm going to be testing cover two seek pretty heavily um because of the mid read fix and then also uh because of the the soft squat fix so really really hopeful about that i, I really really am excited to test this out get on the game and try this out next improved cloud flat zone logic and this really good Improved cloud flat zone logic to better carry vertical routes to protect the fade and improve their facing direction immediately following the, the, the chuck. This is going to be an interesting thing to test out to see if you can still throw uh, like throw the, the fade route against cover two in that whole shot area, like just cover two stock with the cloud flat. It's going to be really interesting. They made a lot of changes, in my opinion, to make cover two better. Um, you know, the deep half zones, they're okay. Um, I actually think the deep half zones are better than most people do. I think they do fine. Um, and then, I mean, they're, I think, honestly, they're probably the best zone, um, deep zone in the game. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. So now that we've made these tunes to cloud flats and curl flats and mid-read zones and all that stuff, soft squats... I think you're going to find that cover two is going to be the meta this year. And cover two has been the meta for a long time. Um, the cover, th especially I think man, 18, 17, it was really the meta. Uh, I also think man, 20 to a degree cover four, cover two. They were both the meta really blitzing seven was the meta and cover in, in that year. But anyways, the bottom line is I think that we're, what we're setting up for is a cover two meta uh, cover two send five or six meta. And in this year's game, you can get really good pressure sending five or six. Um, that's why I, you know the two four five odd pinch two probably the was already becoming the meta i think after this after this right here you're going to see that it's going to be the meta 100 percent going into the competitive season of the thanksgiving day tournament um and then here fix an issue this one is really 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 important and i think you know if i was if i was i'm not on twitter uh right right just yet but if once I get on Twitter, I'll guarantee you I'll see joke uh, saying something about this because this is so this is so huge. Um, fixed an issue preventing hard flat defenders from covering inside receivers and tight ends in bunch and compression formations running flat routes in the flat portion of a wheel route. So basically what that means is if you put a hard flat on the field, this is just what the patch notes say. We've got to get on the game and we've got to test it out. If you run a flat route and you have a hard flat defender no zone drops just a hard flat defender there the hard flat defender should be able to defend that and we're going to see if it actually works or not obviously they said they fixed cover three and that didn't fix it but i think you know this is optimistic this is what we've been asking for and we finally got it i'm really really excited to test this out i think this is super super important for the game and the longevity of the game madden has been terrible to be quite honest with you madden has been one of the most life-sucking things for me to play um in the last 
in the last two months because defense is insanely difficult. It's not just that it's difficult. It's that you just, there's things that are actually really good about defense, like the blitzing concepts that you can create this year. Uh, I think some of the different types of pressures, also some of the different types of the way match coverage works is getting better and better every year. Um, but man, like I can't stop a flat route, right? I can't stop a flat route. I remember I was watching a stream and Henry, who's one of the best defensive players in the game, he says, defense just doesn't work. And then he goes on to say, I don't know how to stop a wheel route, right? And it's just the, the point of frustration for a lot of people that if I put a hard flat there, I want the hard flat to take the guy route. He can throw a corner route or a flood out route from bunch. I don't want to throw the tight end flat route. So I'm really optimistic that this is going to significantly help. Bunch is so good. And the and Joke says it. Uh, I'm a big fan of Joke. And I think he's got a really good perspective on the game. But he said one of the reasons that Bunch is the meta, one of the reasons that Bunch is the meta, especially this year, is because it's so easy to attack the flats. You can throw it on either side. And hard flats don't guard it on either side. So wherever the user's not, you just throw the flat route to the other side. And people have been doing that all season long. Double post is more prominent this year than it was last year because of that very fact. So um, I'm really, really hopeful that this is going to significantly help defense. Um, you know, I think we're setting up for a cover two meta. I think what you're going to see is you're going to get these curl flats at five. These are going to be at 30. And we're going to say, you know, Mabel it up. And, and, and that's how we're going to roll. Um but I'm really, really optimistic. I think default zones too, like just cover two stock. Um, there was a year in Madden where that was a really, really good coverage. I think you're going to see that that's going to be decent. I'm really interested to test this out. Here's one of my big issues with cloud flats. If there's like a cloud flat, in my opinion, like I don't like having to play 30 yard cloud flats. So if they run like a deep corner, I don't know why that cloud flat doesn't like react and carry that deeper. Um, you know, he'll, he'll basically cover like a short corner, but he won't cover a deep corner, like a Z spot corner, those deeper corners, the cloud flat just doesn't do anything. So if a soft squad or a cloud flat could, could cover that, that would be huge. So I'll be curious to see how that works because it does say, um, you know, improve cloud flat logic to better carry vertical routes. It doesn't just say, and then it says to protect the fade and improve their facing direction immediately following the chuck. But you know, I mean, that could also be a corner route. So it'd just be interesting to see, you know, how that, how, how this works. But this right here, people have been asking for this, I probably for six months. Um, I mean, really, they've been asking for this since last year. But I'm really hopeful. I'm really hopeful that this is a big deal. Um, okay, so let's go to here. Uh, man coverage. Uh, improved man defenders motion logic. So man defenders will properly follow and align when the receiver motions across the formation when the AI team is using the CB matchups. Um, I mean, okay, it's not to me. Man coverage is a, is honestly fine. I don't I don't necessarily think man coverage needs a lot of fixing. I really don't. Um, I do think this, and this is this is this is basically what this is saying, which is good. We fixed an issue causing man coverage assignments to incorrectly swap on the offense motion to receiver cross formation. Very much so important, right? Very, very much so important to have that. So I I mean it doesn't say that they improved man coverage. What it says is they improved man coverage when people motion receivers. So, if you think about it, um, especially at a bunch tight end. Uh, bunch tight end is a really hard offense to stop. I think it's one of the better offenses in the game. And so, I think route running abilities are going to be more important because I think people are going to start to move to man coverage. Some people already have. And honestly, man coverage is the number one way that – any year of Madden, the number one way that we beat man coverage is by motion receivers. So, I think that this – is kind of like EA saying we're gonna try to we're gonna try to fix that a little bit. I don't know that it's necessarily gonna work. I, I think the real I think the real bottom line is a motion slant is still gonna beat man, but I'll be interested to test that out and see. But I do think um, I think man coverage is honestly fine. I don't think they necessarily need to make it like super better. If, the, if they make man coverage any better than it is, I think what you're gonna see is Madden twenty uh, Madden twenty one current gen one step ahead metas. I think man coverage for the most part is honestly about where – I think it's fair right now. I think it is. Um, uh, I, I will say, you know, the big thing with man coverage is um, the deep 
like the deep zones again and there's nothing in this about deep zones so I, i'm a little concerned that there's not a there should have been like the very first thing that should have been right here is cover three and it should have said we are sorry we completely broke cover three we have now fixed cover three right or we've now reverted cover three to what it was before the patch um didn't say that so that's unfortunate okay so let's go ahead and move on here now this one right here couple things here i'm not too really i don't really care about this stuff to be honest um i think this is good uh i think this is good you know i mean this is i mean this is just this whole feature should be taken out of the game in my personal opinion it adds absolutely nothing to the game and it's way too much work and they've had so many issues with it i just think it needs to be removed uh right here this is what i want to see so fixed an issue Causing the wide receiver icons to stay visible after making a defensive adjustment. That's important because this year is the hardest year I've ever had at adjusting defensively. By far the hardest year. In a year where defense already struggles, deep zones don't work, flats are overpowered, and I can't make any adjustments. Right? We went the whole first month of the game without ever being able to see our play art. We went, you know, so many issues with play art. So, um, like, so many bugs. And so I'm really excited that this is fixed. Because, like, it's it's hard to adjust. If someone's running bunch and they're flipping back and forth, it's really hard to make adjustments. So this is really, really important for the game. Uh, fix an issue preventing the art from updating to the correct route after making a hot route on the running back and then sending him in motion to the slot. That's fine. It's just a visual bug. Um, fix an issue preventing art from updating on speed option plays after flipping the play. That's fine. I mean, it's, it. I don't really care uh, about that. This fix an issue causing the art to sometimes disappear on defense when hot running a defender to a blitz while inside the tackle box. Yeah, that was a really frustrating thing because I wouldn't know if my user was on a blitz or not, and then I'd get weak boxed. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's a good thing. Added scaling to play art inside of the yard. Who cares about that? I that That's that's no big deal to me. Uh, tuning to QB contained behavior. So contained defenders will get more depth off the snap. This is a really, really big deal. So, um Kind of two reasons why this is uh, two two reasons why this is a a big deal. It will change. We have to test this, but it might change how contained blitzing works. If you've been running, um, you know, a couple of new blitzes that I post on the channel, they're contained blitzes. Basically, what they're doing is they're leveraging the the wide angle of a contained blitz versus a standard blitz angle. And so it gives them, you know, a better blitz angle. So the, what'll be interesting to see is does this make that better or worse? Because it could go both ways. It could make it could leave it the same. It could make it better. It could make it worse. We just don't know. Um, so we'll have to test that. But I'm good. I'm good with like if contains just contain the quarterback. Fine. <laughs> um, I don't. You know, like the BAP boot over rollout crap. Like I do it to people. It's so good. But the fact is, like some formations can contain it and some formations can't even if they do the QB contain adjustment. To me, that makes no sense. Um, tuning to open up disengage. This is interesting here. So tuning to open up disengage angles to allow a contained defender to anticipate better getting off blocks to more quickly react to a QB's dropping back too far behind the line of scrimmage. I think this is a good thing. Um, again, I think this, this actually makes it sound like to me contains are going to get better um you're gonna you, there's really there might just be flat out no reason to not to be contained after this patch we'll see but this right here is a big deal because i'll tell you if you're playing somebody um this is why the looping pressure from 245 odd is so good because it comes through the middle or any of the nickel triple a gaps because they come through the middle they don't just like in the real nfl they don't allow the quarterback to step up in the pocket um, when you can have contains, basically, essentially what it's saying is if you back up too far in the pocket, that's going to create an automatic disengage. I think that's a good thing for skill gap. It's going to make people have to step in the pocket more. And also from a pressure perspective, now what we're going to be able to do is say we can design some pressures like LB cross three uh, from two, four, five odd to three, three, five odd that are going to be really effective uh, because they come through the middle. Okay. Um, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, fixed a rare issue that could allow a defender to warp off the ground. 
I don't really care about them. That's fine. That's fine. All right, let's look at this general thing. Fixed a blocking issue, preventing the blocking running back. Here we go. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so this is where I was talking about the contain deal. Um, blocking. Uh, this is very interesting. I don't know. We'll have to see how that works out. We'll have to test that. Um, this could make 335 wide basically not good anymore. So we'll see. Um, we'll see. We'll see. This is interesting. Uh, it, ba it, say it seems like this is saying like the contained blitz from 335 wide doesn't work anymore. So we'll see. Um, be interested. Address an issue where QBs would be able to scramble deep in the offensive backfield. That's yeah, very, very good. Um, yeah, that's that that needed to happen. I mean, how many times have we seen that? Someone just running around like a clown. Uh, this is important. That's a good thing. That's a huge. Uh, fix an issue causing the user control player to get stuck running. Uh, fine. I, I didn't know if I ever experienced that. Fix an issue causing sideline catches to sometimes warp. Oh, okay. So we'll see what they did to this. Um, this right here, this right here to me, ah, ah, that's interesting. Fix issues around the dead eye abilities triggering in the wrong situation. Inside dead eye was not only triggering on passes to targets inside the numbers, but targets outside the numbers as well. Don't use inside dead eye anymore. It's worthless. It's like 17 AP anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not worth using at all in my opinion, especially after this. The question will be like, you know, does roaming dead eye still work right, or does pocket dead eye still work, or do we just lose? We just say we're done with dead eyes altogether. I don't know. We'll see. Um, my I'm leaning towards being done with dead eyes altogether, uh, but I'm really, really super, super frustrated with the fact that like if I'm rolling out from the pocket, and again this is like first world problems, right? Because in a game where offense is so powered, if I'm rolling out of the pocket, and I have like Josh Allen. I can't make the I can't throw the like post over the top. He'll miss the throw almost every time. Same thing with the, the Kyler Murray. If dashing dead eye means that I can throw that accurately, I think dashing dead eye becomes one of the most overpowered abilities in the game. Because if you pair dashing dead eye with a gunslinger, maybe even an escape artist, if you can get all once you get all those abilities, then you're gonna see rollout corners, rollout crossers are gonna be the meta. But this will be interesting to kind of monitor some of the dead eye abilities. We'll have to test some of that. Um, that's rare. I haven't seen any of that. Tuning in accurate passes, make passes more inaccurate when QB. This is huge. Um, yeah, this is, this needs, I think this needed to be tuned. Like if it basically, like if you back up some of it's again, going back to that skill gap, but it doesn't make logical sense. If I back up in the pocket and it may, maybe I say I take 10 yards back, I think they should disengage. But I should like I shouldn't have automatically every throw be inaccurate. Um, so we'll see what that does. So overall, like honestly, kind of excited to test this out. Uh, I think that there's going to be a couple of things that actually get better. Um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. So you know, to me, let me go back up here. New abilities we got. So new abilities. Mind reader. This is dumb. I don't I I don't want to do anything with this. This is not this is like this powerful X Factor ability can only activate once the defensive player possessing the ability gets in the zone by landing three successful hit sticks on simulation five hit sticks on competitive. You'll be able to view your opponent's play art when you bring up coach cam to knock the player out of the zone, you will need to gain thirty yards on offense. Um not available in much. Praise. Okay, good. It's not a good ability. Um, I like this. This is an interesting ability. Kicking. See the entirety of the kicking art. I don't think that's necessarily needed. I don't think anyone's going to use that. Uh, defenders with this ability will cause heavy fatigue penalties when tackling a ball carrier with a hit stick. Ah, uh, maybe good. Maybe good. I probably won't use it at least unless I see someone say it's really good. Uh, runoff elite players with this ability will distract defenders for longer with their runoffs. Receiver runoffs are when the receiver fakes if, if he is running a pass route downfield. This is done to pull the defender away from the line of scrimmage and give the ball carrier. This is dumb. This is a dumb ability. I'm really fresh. Why would they put this in the game? Oh, why would they put this in the game? 
I think that's a bad. I think that's a bad move. I, ugh, I don't want. I don't want this in the game because this is like. I get. Here's what you're gonna do. Like this is RPO. This is RPO glitch. This is wide. This has RPO glitch. Wide receiver screen. Everybody's gonna be running stretch alert. Looking now. Like this. This. That's what this is gonna do. Um. Ah. Uh, I don't. I don't like that. I don't think competitive players really will use this a lot unless they're like a big time running player. Um. Oh, I just think that's a, I just think that's a bad ability to put in the game. I don't know why they would do that. Um, I think that's a bad move. Uh, okay, so let's look at here. Demoralizer. Defenders with this ability will clear a ball carrier's progress toward entering the zone with a hit stick. I don't think that's that good. Uh, that could be me, but I don't think that's that good. Highlights. Scouting feature. So if you play franchise mode, franchise mode just got a lot funner. Um, so there you go. But overall... Really excited about this. We're going to test this out later today. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my defense, uh, like I said, I think Cover 2 is going to be the meta. That defense is primarily based out of Cover 2. There's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And also, guys, be sure to stay tuned for the latest tips and strategies. We try to post stuff basically as soon as we find it. Uh, so as soon as we find stuff, you find stuff. Especially if you got our eBooks, you get those updated all the time. We'll be updating all the guides this week as well. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you guys later.